Hello guys, and welcome to my channel. Due to YouTube copyright infringement, we only use one picture with voiceover. Thank you for understanding. If you love history and biographies, please leave a like and a sub. Let's start the video. Francis Crick, born June 8, 1916, Northampton, Northamptonshire, England, died July 28, 2004. San Diego, California, US, was a British biophysicist who, with James Watson and Maurice Wilkins, received the 1962 Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine for their determination of the molecular structure of deoxyribonucleic acid, DNA, the chemical substance ultimately responsible for hereditary control of life functions. This accomplishment became a cornerstone of genetics and was widely regarded as one of the most important discoveries of 20th century biology. Francis Crick Francis Crick during World War II Crick interrupted his education to work as a physicist in the development of magnetic mines for use in naval warfare, but afterward he turned to biology at the Strange Ways Research Laboratory, University of Cambridge, 1947. Interested in pioneering efforts to determine the three-dimensional structures of large molecules found in living organisms, he transferred to the university's Medical Research Council unit at the Cavendish Laboratories in 1949. In 1951, when the American biologist James Watson arrived at the laboratory, it was known that the mysterious nucleic acids, especially DNA, played a central role in the hereditary determination of the structure and function of each cell. Watson convinced Crick that knowledge of DNA's three-dimensional structure would make its hereditary role apparent. Using the X-ray diffraction studies of DNA done by Wilkins and X-ray diffraction pictures produced by Rosalind Franklin, Watson and Crick were able to construct a molecular model consistent with the known physical and chemical properties of DNA. The model consisted of two intertwined helical, spiral, strands of sugar phosphate, bridged horizontally by flat organic bases. Watson and Crick theorized that if the strands were separated, each would serve as a template, pattern, for the formation, from small molecules in the cell, of a new sister strand identical to its former partner. This copying process explained replication of the gene and, eventually, the chromosome, known to occur in dividing cells. Their model also indicated that the sequence of bases along the DNA molecule spells some kind of code red by a cellular mechanism that translates it into the specific proteins responsible for a cell's particular structure and function. By 1961 Crick had evidence to show that each group of three bases, a codon, on a single DNA strand designates the position of a specific amino acid on the backbone of a protein molecule. He also helped to determine which codons code for each of the 20 amino acids normally found in protein and thus helped clarify the way in which the cell eventually uses the DNA message to build proteins. From 1977 until his death, Crick held the position of Distinguished Professor at the Salk Institute for Biological Studies in San Diego, California, where he conducted research on the neurological basis of consciousness. His book of Molecules and Men, 1966, discusses the implications of the revolution in molecular biology. What Mad Pursuit, a personal view of scientific discovery was published in 1988. In 1991 Crick received the Order of Merit, 